next item is by... <laughs> okay, they playing me with these names. <laughs> it's like they know I can't read. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, my fate, well, one of my favorite bag, uh, the bag, bag, it's not bag, it's box. One of my favorite boxes finally came in the mail. My Allure Beauty Box is here and we're gonna unbox her and see what she working with. I'm not gonna lie, the Allure Beauty Box is one of my favorites because it is just consistently good. I don't think I've ever had any old or damaged product. I'm like trying to rip this open and it's just not going. I'll be right back. I'm gonna give me some scissors. And I'm back. I love my Allure Box subscription because it's literally consistent. You always get nice new products. There's tons of full size items and the price point is really good. Especially if you sign up for like the annual membership. It's either like $20 or $19 a box. I will be upgrading to the annual subscription, just not right this second. When you open the beauty box like this, like this. When you open the beauty box, it looks like this. You got your little magazine. This is gonna tell us the prices. Uh, <clears throat> Ipsy take notes, okay? Okay, we like to see the prices in a little thing dang like this. We're gonna look at this later on and see what these prices are looking like. If they gonna make us gag or if we're gonna be like, ooh, okay, okay. But y'all, let's go ahead and get into this box and see what she working with. The first thing that I'm pulling out is by Miel and is a cream highlight stick. And this is what she is looking like. It just says you can swipe it over the cheekbones, brow bone, cubat, bow. Cupid's bow, that's what that says. What the hell did I say? say. Cupid's bow, lips, or eyelids. Anywhere for a subtle iridescence. Ooh, blend with a finger or brush. Well, definitely give this a try and see if we see if we like her. She thick, thick. She look thicky thick. This is what it looks like. And I guess the company isn't Miel. The company isn't Miel. The company is 1999. 199. I don't know. I think this is 1999, I guess. Maybe that's when they came out. I don't know. But this is what she looks like. The lid feels flimsy, but it's actually not. Okay. Yeah, 19.99, this says it right there. Ooh, okay, that's pretty. And it's just like a little highlighter stick. Let's see how much we get. So you get this much. I mean, it's, it's thicky thick, so that's a decent amount. I mean, how much highlighter are we using on the day-to-day -day basis? I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like on the skin. Ooh, okay, that's actually really pretty. Rolling, rolling, rolling. This is what the highlighter looks like on my skin tone. I think that's really pretty. Yeah, I'll probably just use it as a highlighter and maybe like a little thing on my nose and that's about it. My eyelid is not that big. So I would probably get it everywhere it's not supposed to be. On my cubist bow, probably not either. So this is probably be just on my cheeks, a little thing down my nose, like, you know, hold to the side, do it on my nose and do and call it a day, blend it out with my beauty blender. Well, it's not beauty blender, beauty sponge. You hear beauty blender all the time, but it really is just beauty sponge because it's not the brand beauty blender. I'm very excited to try this out. You know, we're gonna do some try-ons. I got some videos planned out for the future where I'm actually gonna be able to try on all of my stuff because I have so many items that I have yet to do a try-on with. The next item is by... <laughs> okay, they playing me with these names. <laughs> it's like they know I can't read. <laughs> Sulwazu, Sulwazu. Is that how you say it? Sulwazu? Y'all gonna have to spell that phonetically in the comments for me. But this is a first care activating serum. Ooh. And this is what the box is looking like. Is it Sulwazu? Sulwazu. I don't know. I hope I'm not just butchering their name. That's what it looks like. It looks like Sulwazu. Ooh, this is so itty bitty and cute. This is what the little product is looking like. I think that's super adorable. Oh, okay. So it has like little little thingy thing like this. Let's try her out. Ooh, it has a nice smell to it. It has like a skincare smell to it, but like a nice spa skincare smell. Now this serum feels really good. It's not leaving my hand feeling sticky. It went into the skin pretty well. And like I said, why are the words just not coming out of my mouth? I just, I don't get it. I go to say something and it just gets stuck. I don't know what that is. Okay, it does have a little slight stickiness to it. Okay, now I feel it. It has a slight stickiness to it, but it's, it's not terrible. I guess once you put like your moisturizer over it, then it'll kind of, you know, even out and not make you feel icky and gross. 
I keep checking for stickiness. The stickiness kind of went down even more. So, I mean, this seems like it's a really good, really good serum. But yeah, it has like that nice aroma that you get from a spa. So this is gonna feel really nice putting on your skin because you're gonna get that, it's like a relaxing, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe that fragrance if you've never been to the spa before, but it smells like spa skincare. And the next thing is coming a little disheveled, okay? She a little disheveled, but as long as she okay, we okay. And this is the Coconut Whipped Makeup Weight. I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm dyslexic. <laughs> this thing definitely says whipped coconut, not coconut whipped. <laughs> This is the Whipped Coconut Makeup Remover, Skin Barrier Restoring Cleanser, clinically shown to replenish the skin. Okay, they got clinical studies. And this is by Strip Makeup. And it says it has vitamin E, fatty acids, ginseng root, and white tea extract. And this is what the box is looking like. Okay, and this is a big boy. This is definitely full size. This is what the inside is looking like. It's kind of solidified to the side, which is, you know, if it's whipped, then it's gonna move around, especially with all the shipping. You know, for people who throw in your boxes. I'm not a huge fan of coconut scent, but if it get the makeup off, it get the makeup. Ooh, see what this looks like when I'm taking the lid off? That is fun. Look at that. Oh yeah, that definitely smells like straight up coconut oil. Oh, they just whipped up some coconut oil and called it a day. <laughs> well, they put some other stuff in there. And it has almost like a pearlescent look to it. I think that's so much fun. It smells very coconut heavy. So I'm just gonna take a little bit right here, rub it in just to see what the texture feels like on my skin. And we'll try this out and see if it actually removes makeup. Ooh, that feels nice. Feels really nice. I wonder if this is gonna like rub into my skin. Like I don't have to like remove it with water. Yeah, it just rubbed into my skin very nicely. But I will be smelling like coconut for the rest of this video, which... <laughs> Not my favorite. I'm very excited to try this out. Hopefully it gets rid of the eyeliner. Cause the last little thing that I got from my Macy's box, that Origins, not my favorite. It doesn't really get the eyeliner. It doesn't really get the eye, eye mascara. It's just mascara. You don't have to say eye mascara. We know it's for the eyes. It doesn't really get the mascara off. So I'm very interested to see if this will get the mascara off. Like my super melting balm that's by, what is that by? No, wait, wow. Eyes, lips. Elf. I was trying to think of the acronym. We'll see if it's eaten after Elf, okay? Or after that Elemis Melton Balm, because that one's really good too. The next thing that I'm pulling out is the Perfect Clean Scalp Balancing Sake Rinse. And it's by Nature Lab. It says that this Japanese sake rinse works to restore the scalp's natural balance while removing product buildup and impurities for optimal scalp health. Ooh, so this is just like a, a hair thing. I think this will work over my scalp, okay? I'm using this one time. I'm not getting multiple uses out of this. I'm gonna get one time use, but that'll be nice. It says you're supposed to direct the direct. I was reading directions, but as like part of the directions. Apply to damp or dry hair and massage into the scalp and rinse. So I will definitely give this a try. I'm obviously my real hair and I'll let y'all know if I like it or not. Maybe that's something I've been needing my whole life. I don't know. The next thing that's in here is by Yves Saint Laurent. Ooh. Okay, we bougie. And this is the Libre. Or is it Libre? Libre. I think that's Libre. And I'm guessing this is just like a little fragrance. It's super cute. These are just like little samples that you get like at the Macy's. Hopefully it don't stink. It's so itty bitty. Look at how itty bitty this is. That is adorable. Hopefully we not finna stink. Let's see. Yeah, it just smells like the Macy's uh, perfume section. Like I can't even, I can't even pick out the notes. Some of the fragrances, I can smell very clearly what's in it. Like that Barbie definitely smelled like cherry cough syrup. With this, it just smells like the perfume section at Macy's. Yeah, I'm I'm not so much a fan. Okay, this is not eaten after my Wake Heart Dolan collection. That one is amazing. I mean, it doesn't smell bad though. Like it doesn't stank, which is good. Okay, that Barbie one stunk. This one doesn't stank. It's just not for me, right? Like I like the sweet gourmand. Make me smell delicious, okay? That's what I wanna smell like. I wanna smell like I should just be eating my own face. Oh, that's not the last thing. Okay, I'm gonna save the big boy for last. And the next thing is the Celery Hyaluronic Acid Fresh Pressed Sheet Mask. And this is by Sweet Chef. This is so fun. I love the packaging on these. I just think that is so cute. And y'all, they have a lot of these on Amazon. Like I think the whole Sweet Chef collection is on Amazon and it is not that expensive. It's super affordable. Affordable, <laughs> affordable. But yeah, it's just like a little sheet mask. It says it's supposed to hydrate and plump the skin. So next, super extra nighttime skincare routine. We gonna bust this 
bad boy out and we are gonna have some fun. Get our spa day on. And the last thing that's in here is a big boy and she nice and bubble wrapped. Ooh, okay, this is so freaking cute. This is the Cotton Candy Champagne Blush, blush Lighter. I had to read that real slow. Blush Lighter Palette. And this is by Beauty Bakery. I've heard of Beauty Bakery. I think this is the first item that I have from them. They like have everything based on like food, which I think is so cute. This is what it looks like. Very cute. I love that. That packaging is adorable. This is what the inside is looking like. Very cute, very girly. You know, we love girly things over here. Those are some big pans. Bruh, they give you so much in this palette. Like these pans are massive. And then I think this is so cute on the top. What does that say? Toasting to the sweet life. And then I guess they say it in a different language, like French or something. I think that's so cute, but look at that. You have like a blush and a highlighter all in one. That's why they call it a blush lighter. I think that's so much fun. Let me do a few swatches and then see if I like her. And you know, if you really like these colors, you can use them as shimmers on your eyeball. You don't have to use them the way they're intended, okay? Excuse my little Ipsy. <laughs> this is so cute. That is gonna look so pretty all over my cheeks. Some of these kind of look more like bronzer kind of colors. So I don't know, we'll have to play around with it and see. I just wish there was a peachy one in there, okay? You could have did like a peach Bellini, peach Bellini blush lighter, and I would have been all over that. Do a peach Bellini blush lighter. I will buy it from you. <laughs> Allure always comes through. My top three are probably, it's probably my Allure box, my P. Louise, and then Ice Cream Beauty. Cause the Ice Cream Beauty box is just so fun and exciting, right? Like they have fun and exciting things in there. Like that last unboxing was bruh. I'm so excited to see what they come through for this month. Cause last month was popping. It was worth the wait, okay? Every bit of that wait, it was worth it. But Allure always comes through and they always have like a nice mix of like skincare, makeup, and then they even have some things for your hair. But y'all, that was everything in my Allure box for the month of March. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into these prices and see see if we're gagging and clutching our pearls. The first item is this Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne Blush Lighter Palette. This is going to run you $38. She worth all 38 of them dollars because them pans are beautiful. It's pigmented. Turn them a little page. If I can. The next item is the Strip Makeup Whipped Coconut Makeup Remover. And this is going to run you $28. I don't know if I'm paying $28 for whipped coconut. I'm just, I'm just saying you could get the actual coconut oil and whip it yourself and it'll probably cost way less. I'm gagging at that price. The next thing is the $19.99 Highlight Stick in Miel. Bruh, this little itty bitty thing, you know how much it's gonna cost you? $34. It wouldn't be me. This is cute, but it wouldn't be me. No, ma'am. Next, you have the Sulwazu. I think that's how you say it. Sulwazu First Care Activating Serum 6. Okay, it has Roman numerals. I didn't even see the Roman numerals on. Yes, I did. I just didn't read them. This is a deluxe mini. The full size is $89. The next item is the Nature Lab Tokyo Clean Scalp Rinse. And this is also a little mini size, obviously. The full size is $19. And the next thing is the Sweet Chef Celery Hydrating Mask. And this this one is $3.99 for this one sheet mask. Again, would not be me. I'm gonna get that in a value pack where I get several in one. And the last thing is this YSL Beauty Libre. And you looking at $155 for the full size of this fragrance. Again, wouldn't be me. It don't smell that good for $155. I can't wait to see what they have in store next month. They be having me on the edge of my seat, waiting to see what y'all got for us next month. But I will be enjoying these products and then I will do some try on so you can see if these products work well, if there's something that you should, you know, maybe spend your coin on or something you'd be like, eh, I got it in the box, it's cool, but I'm not gonna repurchase or we'll figure all that stuff out. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a fave bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.